Reusable shopping bags. These days you can get reusable shopping bags made in all different shapes, sizes, materials, but are they really that much more environmentally friendly than a regular old plastic bag? That's what we're here to talk about today. My name is Eugene and this is Burden Growth. These days you can find plastic garbage anywhere from the bottoms of the ocean to the tops of the highest mountains there is plastic everywhere destroying our environments wildlife mistake little plastic bits for food where they eat it and it just sits in their stomach where they feel full but it doesn't actually give them any nutrition and they end up just dying so these days, in order to combat these plastic bags that you get at the grocery store, you can find a multitude of all different kinds of reusable grocery bags. But depending on how you look at it, some reusable shopping bags are a little bit better for the environment than others. These days, you can get them made in all different kinds of materials, and it's hard to know which ones are actually better for the environment. Some studies even suggest that Regular old plastic bags are the best thing that you can do for the environment. So today, let's talk a little bit about what actually makes a plastic bag bad for the environment. Let's talk about whether it's actually better to use a reusable shopping bag over a plastic shopping bag. And does it matter what kind of materials our reusable shopping bags are made out of? That's what we're gonna be digging into today. So let's get started. So first, what makes a plastic bag or reusable shopping bag environmentally unfriendly? First is the production. When we create the bags, what kind of an environmental impact does it have? Second, the lifetime and use of the bag. How long do we use it and in what way do we use it before we throw it away? And third, the disposal of the bag. How do we throw the bag away? And after we throw it away, does it have any kind of environmental impact? Generally, we can break down echo bags into four different categories. Paper bags. They're made out of natural materials. They're biodegradable. They're easy and cheap to make. The only problem is that you can't really use them that many times before you have to throw them away. Next is natural fiber bags. Bags that are made out of cotton or hemp or jute. These are generally made out of natural plant fibers, so they do biodegrade and they're washable. You can keep using them over and over and over again. The downside is, depending on what material you use, it might require a lot of water to produce the cotton or the hemp or the jute that you need to make these bags. Also, in the weaving and production process, there are sometimes chemicals and things that can be environmentally harmful. Next is plastics, like polypropylene. There are various kinds of plastics that they use in the production of reusable shopping bags, and there are various different processes that they use when making them. What are the good things about reusable bags made from plastics? Well, they're plastic. They're really, really strong, they're durable, they're cheap, they're easy to make, and they pretty much last forever. But the downside? They're plastic. So it means that they don't biodegrade. When they get thrown away, they stay plastic forever. The next category can kind of be combined together with the previous category, and that is recycled pet shopping bags. Not that kind of pet, but that kind of pet. These are great because they're made from plastic that we've already made. The environmental impact of producing that plastic has already been done. So all we're doing now is just changing the shape of the plastic into a bag. So while it does take a little bit of work and it does have a little bit of an environmental impact, it's much better than making them from scratch. Because reusable shopping bags are kind of a new thing, there haven't been a whole lot of environmental impact studies on which are better for the environment yet. There are two that are most often cited. One was one that was done by the UK that looked at just the environmental impact as it relates to climate change. They did a life cycle analysis for four different types of bags. Specifically, they looked at the impact on climate in the production, use, and disposal for those four different types. 
Their analysis calculated how many times you would have to use each type of reusable bag in order to have the same environmental impact as you would for one of these. First, they looked at paper bags, and they determined that to have the same environmental impact as a plastic bag, you would have to use one of these three times in order to have that same environmental impact as one of these. Next, they looked at LDPE. That is the kind of plastic you see most often with these guys, Ziploc bags. They determined that in order for this to have the same environmental impact as this, you would have to use one of these about four times. Next, they looked at polypropylene bags. That's these ones, if you've ever seen these kinds of bags. There. They determined that for you to have the same environmental impact as one of these, you would have to reuse one of these about 11 times. And last, they looked at cotton bags, and they determined that to have the same impact as a plastic bag, you would need to use this about 131 times. The study also included a second part where they assumed that if 40% of these bags get reused as garbage bags, then all those numbers kind of come up a little bit. If we're reusing these as garbage bags, that means for the same environmental impact cost, we're getting more use out of them and we're having to buy less garbage bags. So that means that you're gonna need to end up using these more to be equal to these. Taking that into account, you would need to reuse these four times, these five times, these 14 times, and these 171 times. In my personal experience, even with the higher numbers where we're using the plastic bags as garbage bags, that's a totally obtainable goal. I've used this bag for years. I've had it for years and I'm sure that I've used it over 171 times easily. Same go for these. I've been using these things forever. They're getting a little ragged, but I've definitely used them more than 14 times. But remember, this UK study only looked at the impact on climate change. It ignored the effects on wildlife, the effects on humans, and any kind of toxic chemicals that might have seeped into the environment from the production or disposal of those bags. The other often cited study is one that was done by the Danish government. The study done by the Danish government was a much, much, much more intensive study. It still didn't take into account the effects on wildlife, but it did take into account the effects of all the different chemicals and toxins that are used in producing the bags. So, with a lot more environmental factors considered, they determined that for paper bags, you would need to reuse these 43 times. They determined that LDPE is about the same as a plastic bag and said that you only need to reuse this about twice. For polypropylene bags, they said about 50 times is about the number that you want to shoot for. And for recycled pet bags, they determined that you would need to reuse these about 84 times. But the big shocker, the one that made headlines all over the place, was this guy. The conventional cotton bag. These cotton tote bags, they determined, because of all of the production costs that go into making them, all of the toxins and the different chemicals that they use to make them and bleach them, the uh, intense amounts of water that they use to produce the cotton, they determined that you would need to reuse one of these 7,100 times, just to be as environmentally friendly as your typical grocery store shopping bag. And that number goes way, way up if you start talking about organic cotton. I know, I know what you're thinking. The organic cotton is better for the environment, right? It's all produced naturally and no pesticides. Yes, but to produce organic cotton is much more resource intensive than regular cotton is. So taking all of those environmental factors into account, they determined that organic cotton bags need to be used 20,000 times before they become more environmentally friendly than your typical plastic bag. That means that if you used it five days a week, you would need to use it for 77 years before you get more environmentally friendly than a plastic bag. I don't know about you, but I do not go shopping five days a week, and I, I, I hope I'm gonna be alive for 77 years. Keep in mind, we are ignoring animal deaths here 
For these studies, they didn't take into account that plastics often get into the environment and get eaten by wildlife, and that causes a lot of animal deaths. They ignored all of that. So for those of you that think protecting animals comes above absolutely everything else, by all means, use the cotton totes over the plastic ones. Those will biodegrade much better than the plastic ones will. Just remember, you gotta use them a lot in order to make them better for the environment than plastic bags. So, what are the clear takeaways that we can get from all of this information? The first is that whatever you use, whether you use recycled plastics or cotton or even just regular old shopping bags, Use them as many times as you possibly can. Literally use them until you can't use them anymore. Use them until they have holes in them and you've sewed up the holes 60 times and you're still using them. That is the best way for the environment. Next, don't buy any more. For me, all of these bags are ones that I've literally just had sitting around my house forever. You get them for free as like promotional event things and every now and then you get them as a present or maybe they wrapped around a present. Look, this one came from an airline. This one was a promotional thing from Patagonia. I have so many reusable shopping bags that just came from promotional materials. Look, this one, it's from LinkedIn. If you have them, don't buy any more. Use the ones you have. Next, use them all as garbage bags when you're finished. If they can still hold things and you're gonna throw them out anyway, you might as well save a garbage bag and use one of these instead. Next, if you're gonna buy reusable bags made out of plastic, get ones that are made out of recycled plastics. These are way better for the environment. And if you're gonna buy cotton, skip out on any colors or logos if you can. Generally, if you add logos or dyes and different kinds of colors to your bag, you're gonna get a much higher environmental impact. Lastly, if you can, make your own. I made my own here out of a t-shirt. This is an old t-shirt that I got on some kind of a Wendy's promotion that I definitely wasn't going to be wearing anymore, so I decided to turn it into an echo bag. If you want to know how to do that, just go ahead and check out my blog at the link below. Doing DIY projects like this is another way to reduce that environmental impact of producing new materials. You reuse old things that you don't need anymore, and you get new use out of them. Keep in mind that this is also not a comprehensive list of every single type of environmentally friendly bag out there. The Danish study actually covered a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of different types of bags that I didn't cover here in this video. Is there something I missed? Are there any new studies that I didn't find? This whole project is part of a learning process for me that I'm hoping that other people could also find useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I would really, really appreciate it even more if you would hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, or check out my blog down at the link below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Eugene and Burden Growth, out. Those bags have pretty much the same environmental impact as the previous. Are the emergency services done now? <laughs>